The stage has been set on Moscow's Red Square. It's time to mark for the first time the incorporation of four Ukrainian regions into Russia. The day, now known as Reunification Day, has become historic in Russia. It will be celebrated from now on every year to mark the annexation of the four regions. For the first time, now, under Russian law, elections were held, as I have already said many times. In fact, our historic regions of Donbas and Novorossiya were following a vote in the regional parliaments, whose members were also elected for the first time under Russian law. The incumbent heads of the constituent entities of the federation confirmed their powers. This is of course a significant event, an important step towards the full entry of the new regions into the single legal state space of our big country. In Kiev, meanwhile, these Ukrainian brigades are training to try to turn things around. They will be sent to the south and the east of Ukraine, where fierce fighting is taking place. But Ukraine won't be alone in this conflict. NATO will be by its side. Today I can confirm that NATO now has framework contracts in place for 2.4 billion euros worth of key ammunition, including 1 billion euros of firm orders. This covers capabilities like 155 mm artillery, anti-tank guided missiles and main battle tank ammunition. At the same time, Moscow announces a 70% increase in its defense spending, a signal that Russia isn't ready to give up its special military operation in Ukraine.